everyone, it's Joy. Welcome back to my channel. And today is the finale of AGPS and I am super excited to finally announce the winner of my photo contest. So this week to make the finale extra fair, I had five judges send in their rankings of the photo, same as usual from one to 10. Some of the judges sent in things they liked as well as critiques. So I will be reading those as well as giving some of my own. If you hear contradicting reviews about your photo or other photos, it is because I'm reading all of the judges' reviews and they don't know what the other judges said. So let's get started. So the first photo this week is Georgia, and this week you were ranked by the five judges an 8, a 5, another 5, a 7, and another 7. So now for the judges' review. The art in the background is pretty, yet confusing from and distracting from the doll. The doll's clothing is kind of plain, and I wish you had done a little bit more than with that. The lighting is giving the doll a washed out look, but it is a really cute photo. I think the photo is really cute, but I'm not sure it really fits the theme. I like that you gave so much attention to the art, but it doesn't really highlight the doll as much as the art, as, as much as it does the art. It kind of reminds me of a museum tour guide, but not a portrait as much. I think the photo was really cute, and I like the idea you had with it, with in including a portrait as in like a painting portrait, and then portrait as in the what I had said when I introduced the theme. But I think if you would have just sticked with the um, portrait as in like a profile picture portrait, the photo would have been better. Um, I was thinking that if you wanted to still incorporate the actual portrait, you could have done a more head-on photo of the doll with having the portrait being in the background of the photo instead of it trying to share the frame with the doll, which kind of distracts it. You could have the doll in front of the portrait and have that be kind of as a background. The second photo this week is from Lily, and this week you were ranked a 7, an 8, a 10, another 8, and another 8. So now for the judges review for Lily's photo. I like this photo and the pose a lot. The lighting is a bit off and it's a little bit dark. Um, I like the lighting and it's really good. I love the way the doll's arms are reaching out. I love the clothing choice and how everything is so detailed and was obviously planned out beforehand. The photo is nice and clear and I love the background. The texture of the wall in the background is also nice and I love that you blurred it. I like the framing but it's a little plain and I think you could have done more with that but I love how it looks like she's taking a selfie. And now for my review. I really like this photo and I think it's adorable. I love her hairstyle by the way. I always love doing that hairstyle with my dolls. It just makes them all look so cute. Um, and it's a good way to get the hair pulled back out of their face, but not like pulling it back all the way. Um, I like the way you uh, positioned the picture, but I think it could be down a little bit more so it's more head on and direct, directly like looking into the doll's eyes. Um, I'm not sure if you purposely didn't do that because you thought it might look a little strange, but I do usually prefer when you can, it looks like you're looking the doll straight in the eyes and you can see their eyes. Um, but yeah, great job this week. Now on to Luciana. And this week you were ranked a seven, a nine, an eight, a 10, and a nine. Now for the judges review. I think the pose works amazingly with the theme. The lighting looks great and the photo is very clear. The eyeliner is a bit off, but it still looks good. The doll is very pretty and the photo was shot really well. Since the background is blank and the color on the only color comes from her coat, the color the photo is less visually appealing than I think it could be, but you did a great job. I think the photo really works well with the theme, but I think it could have been even more stunning if you had something more visually appealing in the background, like a tree or something like that. So those are all the reviews and everything for the photos this week. So now I just need to add up all the rankings that the judges gave along with your previous scores from the other weeks. 
and I will announce the winner and then let you know what you won because yes there is a prize okay so I have calculated up the scores and the winner is now going to be made known to you guys I am super excited so the second first and second place have been like really close for the past like three weeks and it turned out that there is no tie for first and second place or for any of the places but first and second place the, there was only a difference of two points so you guys both did amazing and it was so close this week or this whole like competition in general so first second and third place will all be getting a small prize um if you can give an address then i will ask you to email me or message me somehow and i will let you know what like and i'll send something to you and i'll tell you what i will be sending you if you can give away your an, a mailing address um i will tell you at the end of this video anyway now what you guys have been waiting for the first or i'll start I'll start with fifth place. Okay, so fifth place in cycle two of AGPS is is Leah with 20 points. Uh, fourth place is Julie with 25 points. Third place is Georgia with 65 points. Second place is Lily with 81 points, and that means the winner of cycle two of AGPS is Luciana. Congratulations, I'm so excited for you. I'm so glad that you were like, you won AGPS, and this is like super exciting. Um, Anyway, thank you guys so much for competing in AGPS Cycle 2. I'm hoping to do another cycle, like, I'm hoping to open the entries for Cycle 3 in late June. That is a, yeah, never mind. Ignore that. Um, I'm hoping to open entries for Cycle 3 in late, I think, or late May. Late May, sorry, not late June. Late May, early June. So keep an eye out for those. I am super excited to do this again. I love doing this photo contest and it's so fun to see what you guys can come up with the, with the different themes. So thank you so much and I'll see you soon. Bye.